Hi everyone. I am back. It is 1.39 a.m. 4.21. So it is officially Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. Um, I don't like it, but I'm not going to be in a butthole. I know other people do, and I want to wish you a happy Easter, and, I, you know, remember what Easter represents, you know, Jesus, resurrection, everything about Jesus, just like Christmas, should have nothing but Christ and Jesus in it, you know what I mean? Let's remember why. That said, uh, we had a great day with family yesterday. We stayed way longer than we should have, let me tell you. But, if I can insert a pic or two without making my stuff go funky, because it seems like every time I do, I nuts up the view. But if it's only me, it doesn't matter. You don't need all this background. It should be okay. Um, I am going to show you a few things, what I got on clearance at Walmart, but um, it should be okay. I'll, I'll figure that out at the end here. But, um... I had a, a revelation today, and one of the pics I want to show you, if for some reason the picture doesn't work the way I want it to, and it distorts my video, um, I'll make my pictures world public view, and then I'll link it, is what I'll just do. That way y'all can see it, or I'll put them on my Pinterest, or maybe my Instagram, and then I'll link it. I'll do something. That y'all can just click and see. But when I saw the picture, I was like, I am really small. Like, wow. And I said to Chucky on the way home, I said, you know, I know I'm losing inches because I can feel it in my clothing and I just feel it. I could tell. And I, we don't have full a full mirror. We have, like, you can see, like, from under your boobs to, like, above your belly. So you can see a little bit of your belly, but not the whole thing in that mirror at the sink. It's ridiculous. Um, I do have a full-length mirror, but nowhere to hang it. Um, because, you know, most of this is a trailer, except for our, our build-on additions, which... This living room is a build-on addition. Um, and you know that ha trailer halls are narrow and stuff. It's hard to hang it. But anyway, I was able to see myself in the Walmart bathroom mirror, and I was like, whoa. Like, whoa. Like, I didn't realize how small I was actually getting. Um, so I had wind measure me. Now... I gotta find it, and I will, but it doesn't have to be tonight. But I remember back in 2014 when I had surgery, it was the week of surgery, some of my measurements were 59 plus inches. I remember that. And I'm pretty sure that was like my hips and my waist was maybe like a 48, 50. It was pretty up there. 9 16 18 so september 16th of 2018 so what did win say six seven months ago my bust was 45 inches today my bust is 42 inches it's three inches my waist was 41 today it's 40 that's one inch my hips were 47 today they're 44 and a half that's two and a half inches my thigh, I just, uh, we did both thighs, but what I did was I, um, averaged the two of them and came up with 23 and, tw oh, they were 24 and three quarter. Today they're 23. And what they were was 23 and a half and 22 and a half. So I just made it 23. So that's a loss of one and three quarter inches in my thighs. My arms were 15 inches. Today they're 12 and a half inches. That's two and a half inches. My weight was 198.2. Today I'm 
Today it's 181.2. That's a loss of 17 pounds. Yeah, 17 pounds. And my surgery was October. So my surgery was the month after. So since my surgery, I have lost 17 pounds and have been maintaining. Um, and again, for any of my bariatrics uh, brothers and sisters watching, um, my surgeon said it's going to be a slow loss. And all of us know that the more you have to lose, the faster you lose, the less you have to lose, the slower you lose. That's just the way the human body works. But like, I mean, I could see it when I do this. Look at the collarbones. Like, hello. It's insane. Um, some of my clothes still don't fit the way I want them to. They're not loose enough and stuff. But then there's other shirts like this that was a little snug, especially it wasn't so much snug in my arms, but I didn't have much give. Now look, I mean, I'm noticing the change and this is a medium Victoria's secret. So, um, hold on. I see what bear has. What do you got there, buddy? Oh yeah. We don't want you to have that. He has one of my things from my jewelry I was making and I'm afraid he'll He'll choke on that or something. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, so I really wanted to share that with you all. And anyone on a weight loss journey or a journey to better health, sometimes, sometimes the scale doesn't reflect, but you can feel it in your clothing, see it in your clothing, or feel it because you just know it. And when I looked in the mirror um, at my parents and I could see like my full, um, no, it wasn't I lie, it was Dollar General. And I was pulling up and zipping and button my pants and I had my pants like, because my pants are low rise, I hate high rise pants. Um, I was like, holy schmoly, like I could see how much thinner I'm getting. And it was like, just crazy and I think if I remember correctly my waist I think my hips were 59 my waist was like 55 56 it was it was crazy so I've lost a lot of inches and my highest weight recorded day of surgery was 298 so that is a loss of 117 pounds um, that's pretty amazing. So what I'm trying to say is the scale isn't always your friend. You know, I, I don't even weigh every day like I used to. I mean, when I'll say, what do you weigh today? I'm like, I don't know. Didn't weigh today. Don't really care to. Um, it doesn't always reflect the truth. Is what I'm trying to say. You may not have lost poundage, but you may have lost inches. And and I'm proof of it. I've only lost 17 pounds since my revision on the 25th of October 2018. However, I lost a total since September, which was only a month before that. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11 inches all over. Ooh. So that's pretty doggone significant that I lost 17 pounds and 11 inches since a month before my revision. And the revision did all that because I was stagnant for like a year and a half, almost two years, that I couldn't drop under the 198, which was my highest for the four years post-op of my original gastric bypass. Hope I didn't confuse you all, but yeah. So, that said, I wanted to share that, and now I'm going to share with you my finds at Walmart. So, excuse me, I've been seeing that, P, uh, I'm thinking that there's certain yarns clearanced out. So, I went to seek those yarns. Um, they did not have any of what I was looking for at that Walmart, which was up by my parents. Um, so, I'm going to hit our local Maybe tomorrow, but I got a lot to do. Um, but if I want a break for an hour, I might take a drive. Plus, I need to go to Rite Aid and get some of my vitamins. 
I'll probably do that because Chucky can't pick up my vitamins and my Miralax. He'll nuts up. Not on purpose, but even I nuts up sometimes. I have to really look at what I'm getting so I get the proper that I can absorb. So, they didn't have any of the yarn I was looking for, so that did not happen. However, I went back to the clearance section and I found some awesome buys. And this was stuff I really needed. Really needed. Alright, so, these two-inch binders, for my patterns, of course, were clearance down to $3. Normally, they were like eight-something, six-something, I forget. I looked, but one was six-something, one was eight-something, and I don't remember if it was this one or the other one. Okay, one was heavy-duty, this was the six-something one, I believe. Okay, so I got, I think, two of them. I got the two that they had clearance. Um, yes, I got two of those. Two two-inch. Now, you've seen the patterns I have that I showed you the stack of, and that ain't nothing. I have a gazillion that I need to put in binders and get organized and situated. It's like totally chaotic. These guys were clearance down. These are the one and a half inch. And I also got two of these. Just regular binders. Um, these were clearance to $2.50. So I got two of those. I probably should have got more, but I had a, I saw other stuff I really wanted and needed. So the, the um, number tags for when I do my live sales that I print it are crappy. So I saw, <coughs> I saw these. You, do, you can do 48 tags. And what it says is peel and fold. Sim simple one-sided printing for seamless designs. Features pre-punched hole and adhesive back. To quickly peel and fold for double thick, smooth edge, professional looking tags. And that's what I need because I have twine that when I show my merchandise, I'm going to say the number because that's how I do my live sales. I'm going to say whatever, um, say it's number 12. Number 12 sold and then they type 12 sold and there you go. So these are really, really nice. They were three dollars. So I got two packages of these. So I'll go number one to forty eight and whatever forty eight to there's forty eight tags. So forty eight plus forty eight, let's see, would that be ninety six? Am I correct? Possibly. I suck at math. That's enough to do one live sale. If not, I'll have other cards as backup. But I thought that was great because they're nice heavy duty cardstock. Okay. These I'm really wishing I would have got more. If I stop at Walmart tomorrow, I'm going to check for more. Because already, like I'm gonna use one for for right now for my fair projects and one for my current work. As in, like I have um two commissioned orders. Two, two customers that I need to, one I'll do tomorrow, tomorrow night, and the other one I'll start Monday, as promised. Um, so I have those, and that, that all the patterns I need for that is going to be put in one, and then all the patterns and stuff, plus the itinerary for the fair, is going to be put in the other. These were clearance to three eighty eight. Don't really know what the normal price was, but I am in love with these. These are perfect. So they're called 12, 12 Pocket Organizer with Customizable Cover. So like in this one, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just an example. Because I have it right here. I've been sorting out my patterns. So I could be a step ahead of the game. So this 
So, first thing I said was, or not the first thing, but I want to do fair projects. So, I'll take this and I'll plop it right in here. Okay? So, I know just by looking at that, that that's my fair binder. And then in here I could put, say... I'm going to do the toy category, I'm going to do the coat category, I'm going to do the rug category, and then I'll put the said pattern into those pockets. How awesome is that? So I'm like, oh my god, I can so use this. And then it has this tabby thing, and then it's nice to just sit here, and then I can pick them up and refer to them. So as I work my projects, I have these, and I really wish I would have got more. Like I said, I'm going to check the other Walmart tomorrow because these are awesome. I would have liked at least one or two more of these. So these were three eighty eight. Okay. And then I have that these for the longest time. But what I don't have is the paper to go in them. I don't know if you remember me showing I bought these. Okay, so I got that, and I have all this stuff that I got from Martha Stewart, like these tabs and stickers and stuff, and then I have these, and then I have these little folder, or the dividers and the folders, all this stuff to go in, but I don't have anything else. So, I finally have found what I needed. And I did find them at Walmart. These were normal price, not clearance. They were like two seventy something, and they're just regular lined filler papers. Fits three or seven ring binders for the one inch. So I got two of them. So I have them because they were a booger to find. Let me just tell you, and see, that's exactly what I need it for in there. And I'll make myself a cute little binder with that. Okay. And then on clearance, I found this pre-punched folders for 50 cents. It was the only one they had. I would have got another one. I didn't even look at what they are. If they'll even fit that, I don't know. No. It's for that thing. But I can make it work. I'll make it work. Um, this one says don't quit. Folder on both sides. Hustle and heart will set you apart. Very important stuff. Like a boss. Keep calm and sparkle on. So yeah, they're cute for 50 cents. And they only have one, or I would have got a couple. Not for me, but I would have shared, you know. But they didn't have them. So. I'll make this work somehow. I really don't need to, but I will. I think these are for the happy planners. I think that's what they're called. That's what uses them kind of perforation. And then, because I did say I'm going to be designing patterns, and Carla, my dear, already got me um, a graph pad. I wanted another one because this was clearance to $1.50. And that's pretty good because they're um, sticky. Like, they peel off. They have the gummy up top. And then I could put them in my um, page binders with my patterns as I do them. And... I'll have that. These will last me a long time. So I figured for that price, I may as well grab them. And then, I didn't even open it yet, but I don't want to show you. For $2, and it was the only one they had. Oh my God, I went crazy when I saw it. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? I can't imagine what that did cost. So it's a regular journal, and then it has the tabby tab thing, the bookmark. And then it does this. Two bucks. That's my Walmart haul.
and it was all stuff I needed, all stuff for the business, and all total, I paid $38.91. Awesome. Can't beat it. And I think I have the receipt in my purse. I better because it's all a business deduct. So, I wanted to show you this haul first because I have all my patterns separated here. And I want to, while this is uploading, or, um, compressing to upload. Initiating, initializing. I forget what it's called on the program I use. That's why I'm like... Um, I want to do this to make myself some room so I can share some gifts that we got today with y'all. So I will be back because my, my schedule tomorrow is clean, go pick up vitamins, and work on the business end of things because I have obligations I need to fill. Um, I got to get the stuff packaged, promised to Carla, Billy, and Shelly. I got to get my dear Darby's items done and shipped. And I got to, my customer Jill, I want to get with her. And then I start her order Monday. I'm so thankful and grateful for all of you. And i um, excited. I love doing orders. I love it. Especially when I'm making stuff I love, which is my critters. Love it. Um, I made a decision, the blanket, after discussing with my parents and seeing some, and when, and seeing some comments that say it's totally my own blanket, I thought long and hard about this. Even a stick figure starts with a line. Who invented the line? You know what I'm saying? And I just started with the base of, um, 17 half double into the third, 10 up. The rest was me. From that point on, it was me. I did different number of panels. I changed the panels. I double panels. I did my own border. Because of that, I think I can agree that you could find a thousand patterns that start out with chain 17, half double crochet in the third chain from the hook, half double crochet 15 across, you know? That doesn't make it the same blanket I made. That could turn out to be a scarf. You know what I'm saying? So, if anybody disagrees, throw it at me. Because, um, again, I don't ever want to do anything questionable or unscrupulous or whatever that word is. I don't want to ever do anything to, to um, not do the right thing. Even accidentally. That's why I'm talking to y'all about it. And, you know, I'm saying, I think I decided, well, I didn't think, I know, I decided I'm going to do that pattern and release it. Um, my rabbits, I'm not going to do that. And there's a reason why. I did not design the entire rabbit. Most of it, Yes, but I did use a part or two from other patterns, and that's too much. That's too much of someone else's work for me to claim I did the entire thing. But because I altered it, I can't really do that because it's not right. In my mind, I know that I started with someone else's pattern, did it to maybe the fifth row, and I'm like, ah, oh, no, I want it like this. So that's not right. For, that's too much for me to say. Completely mine to release and profit in any way from. That and I want to keep my critters unique. My bears and my bunnies are something indicative of me and with yarn and hook. And I want to keep it that way. Um, there's always something that makes a designer and artist stand out something of theirs that they made that you can look at and go, hey, that that was, um, I don't know, <laughs> whoever the designer is that you're familiar with, you can look at, like, I can look at a damn it doll 10 years from now, and I'm going to know Billy the Cla Crafty Floridian made that damn it doll, because she stands out in a league all of her own. There is no other damn it doll. You can look wherever you want. 
that are Billy's quality, that are Billy's spectrum. Billy doesn't make a damn it doll that you should be slamming anywhere. Billy makes a damn it doll that people are collecting. They're, they're getting them replicas of them, their spouse. I mean, hello. They're amazing. Even my mom went, my 89-year-old goosey mom, she's like, who would slam that when I showed her? Because she said, where's your damn it? She kept calling it my damn it. No, she said, where's your damn doll? That's what she said. And I didn't take it up, but I showed her the video where Wynn and I are showing what we received from Billy. But back to my original point, you can, you can look at those dolls, and again, I don't take care if it's 10 years from now, and you can go, Billy made that, the Crafty Floridian, if you're familiar with that artist, okay? That's what I want people, when they look at those buns and those bears, they know doggone well they came from with yarn and hook, and that's me. Um, my heirloom critter collection, I will never release the patterns for them. They are also indicative of myself and my business. I'm not going to release them. But there's other things like that blanket. Absolutely. I, I have no problem with that. Or if I do the smaller critters I was talking about, absolutely. I'll design them specifically to release to you all. With that in mind, 100%. Absolutely no problem there. But there are things that, I mean, I'm proud of everything I do or I wouldn't even show it. But there's things that I'm so proud of because I know that it, and I don't want to say this that anybody, oh, all of a sudden my eye itched. I don't want to say this that anybody takes offense in this, but it's something that sets me apart and not sets me above because I'm never above. We're all equal. We all have our own talents. Like, I can't crochet a straight blanket to save my life no matter how hard I try. I can count. I can sit and look at every row. I can all but measure every blasted row. And I think I'm right. And then I'm halfway up and it's going meow. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I have not up so many blankets I could pull my hair out of my head. And from this moment forward, unless it's a... Uh, a panel or a square that I put together, you are not going to see me do blankets because they are a pita for me. But there's others that can crochet the most beautiful, perfectly straight, proportioned, even perfect blankets with their eyes shut. We all have our own forte. It's just that simple. I'm not better than you. You're not better than me. We all have something we're more gifted at. I'm going to use Billy one more time for an example. She has a gift of, in her mind, seeing these dolls from her customer's request, and she goes 20 steps above, like the biker dude. She put HD on the vest. She put boots on him. She put that chain hanging off his butt. She just really thought outside the box and made that an entire biker guy doll. I mean, this is what I'm saying. I can be creative, I can think out of the box, but she's in her zone. You and me don't have what Billy has, or we'd be the ones doing the damn it dolls, not Billy, and making them collector pieces, not stuff to slam on a table. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's my decision. I And as things progress along for me, I'm, I'm gearing for my lives. They are coming, I promise you. I'm going to have doilies, candle mats, um, mug rugs, which can also be um, candle mats, whatever you want to use them for. I uh, plan on doing pillows, things that um, you would you would look for in the spring slash summer time. You know, obviously I won't be doing hats and scarves unless I do dressier scarves that are made of the... Uh, what I want to say, what did I make that one out of? It was it, um, unforgettable. That's a really thin, lightweight yarn. And if you make it like I did the paw print scarf in that, and it's beautiful and it's very lightweight, you could easily wear that to the office in spring and summer and be dressy or church or whatever the case of where you want to wear it. 
that I would do. I'm also going to focus on my dogs and such for the vet's office. There's something in my eye, guys. Hold on a second. Yep, one of my hair hanging down into my eye. Oh, Lordy, have mercy. Did I get it? Sometimes I don't get them all back. It's what it was. And you get a straggler hanging and then it's in your eye and wait, it's on my eyelash. Hold on. And it's hard to see with this dumb light. Come on. Sorry to be staring into my eye, but you know how it is when you get a hair. Well, I thought I got it. I don't know. Sometimes you ever, like, there could be a little fuzz or whatever and you don't see it. That might be what's going on, too. But anyway, I apologize. But, yeah, I had to get that. Um, what was I saying? hi -o. hi Oi. Trying to get back where I was. I'm so sorry. Gone. Anyway, the gist of it all is... Oh, the dogs for the vet's office. The visors for the vet's office. And come fall, winter, I'll be doing the beanies with the palms and stuff like that. And doggy sweaters. So, I'm going to have a lot keeping me going. I want to keep my lives rolling... Um, if I'm going to be doing steady for the vet's office, I'm hoping, it depends on the area, it could wind up I only have to stock once every couple months. Um, once every other month would be fabulous evens. Uh, and that's fine. And then I could do probably at least two lives a month, possibly three. Because re we really enjoy doing those lives a lot. And we will be doing them again. But for the spring slash summer, that's the things I'll be focusing on. And of course, anytime anybody can always come to us for custom orders. I'm always up for a custom. I have no problem. If I can't do it, I'll be honest. But canned isn't in my vocabulary. I will find a way, you know what I mean? If I don't have it in my mind or in my toolbox, I'll go out there and find a pattern I can use to help me create what you're asking for. It's that simple. So I love doing that. I love doing custom orders. I love doing um, stuff like that. It's awesome, especially when it's critters. But I'll, I'll custom make anything. Don't get me wrong. Another thing I stink at, once again, is blankets. <clears throat> bad so i want you to know that i've been reading the comments i gotta at least heart them until i comment no wonder i struggle with that blasted jewelry two pliers well how did i know that here i am breaking one nail after the other ready to take the stuff and throw it to the moon and back oh you oh like i said i never profess to be the experienced jewelry makers that's crazy yeah but I did have a good time. My mom's liked it. And one of the pictures I'm going to show is the three of us sitting there with our matching heart necklaces. It was the best. My goosey will be 89 in June. Mom's 14 years older than me. I'm 48. I always forget how old she is. But my mom, she's the one that needs the kidney transplant. I've talked about health. This dumb phone. Stopped and restarted again. My mom is the one that needs the kidney transplant, and she's not in the best of health, but she's only 14 years older than me. Again, I'm 48, so do your math. It's what? 52, 62, maybe. 52. Yeah, it'd be 62. So she's not that old to be going through. Not that you have to be old to go through that. I mean, I, there's children that go through that. God bless their soul. God bless anybody going through that. It's, it's horrible. God bless anybody going through any health thing. It's horrible. 
I wouldn't wish it on my enemy. I would never wish anything on anybody. But that's a great picture, and I can't wait to enlarge it, get it printed for us, and put it on the wall. Speaking of which, when I come back with my next video, you're going to die at one of the gifts from my parents. Wow. Really, really, I mean, special. So, yeah. With all that said, I am going to bid you adieu. And I'm going to say thank you so much for stopping in at my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell so you will be notified each and every time I upload. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my content. And leave a comment. I do reply to my comments. It's just been a really crazy two weeks here with me being sick and then down to the crunch for the gifts today but everybody was happy pleased and everything that everyone in my family got homemade except for my dad who said you've sewn me a comforter you've crocheted me a blanket you've crocheted me he said i have enough of handmade pillows and comforters and blah, 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 and he don't wear hats so what am i going to make him out of crochet underwear like seriously what's left so i said okay and i didn't make him anything I just bought him stuff, which I don't like. I always like to make something for everybody, but that's what he said. I would have made him a bunch of hats, but he don't wear them. He don't wear scarves. Um, You know, really, what's left? I don't do socks, so that's out of the question. Yeah. So my father was the only one who didn't get anything handmade, and I said to him today, you are the only one for the first time that didn't get something made by my hands. He's like, I know. Anyway, it wound up being a really great day, our Christmas on Easter weekend. <laughs> and we had a good time and we had a good visit. We were gone way too long. I felt so guilty when I came home. It was about 12 hours. I feel bad leaving my babies home alone like that when they're used to mama here mainly 24-7. They weren't happy, even the cats. I usually stay back in my sewing room until the dogs go to bed because sometimes the three youngest ones get rowdy and chase them. They're not mean. They want to play, but they bark and they scare the poop out of the cats. So, Peaches and Bear, and usually Albert, back and forth. Albert will go from the back of the couch to, um, oh, that's Jackson and Bear together. Do you see that? Aww. And the kids were out in the mud. If you see spots on my carpet, I'm going to run that crosswave. They were out. They got muddy feet, and they came in, and I'm like, I don't even care right now. I got to run the crosswave anyway, so ignore the floor. That is mud. And one of them was Chucky. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, because it rained pretty good. But look at Bear and Jackson. Oh, So cute. We have such loving children. So, yeah, I felt really guilty, but it was a great day. Thank you, everybody, for um, wishing us well today and saying Merry Christmas and Happy Easter. And I saw a lot of comments, but some of the comments I saw as we were sitting there talking or we were traveling and I didn't, I wasn't able to type because, excuse me, I stink at typing to start with. I hate typing on a phone and I don't do this. I do this. And when you're in the vehicle, you're moving all over and my fingers like this, so psh, I don't even bother. Or you'd have uh, connection and then you'd lose it. The wheel would be turning. Yeah. And I'm not home. Well, I'm home that long, but I've been relaxing, spending time with my kids, trying to get stuff together, um, how to take my pills, how to change out of my dress clothes, come and, you know, I need it to relax a little bit. So, got Chucky to measure me, got on the scale, which was at night, which you always weigh less in the morning. So, and I'm yammering now. I'm so sorry. I'm going to close. I'm going to say adieu, and I will see you in a little bit with my if not tonight, tomorrow. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow so we both can show you that picture. Because it's pretty special.
There, I went and said that. The gift. It's a picture. But it's awesome. You'll never guess what it is. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that. It is 2.19 in the morning till this is done and I get to upload it. It might be 3, 4. I might need a little nap before I get up and start cracking it. So, we'll see how I feel. But in the meantime, you all have um, a safe journey to family, a great time with family. Enjoy your Easter and remember to thank God for resurrecting his son and all the wonderful things that we have because of God and Jesus and you know I'm I stink at saying religious stuff but I know what I'm trying to say in my heart I think you get it I hope you get it um God bless you all and I will talk to you either again tonight or later today because again it's 2 20 a.m eastern time so I'm not sure where it is where y'all are but that's what I got here and it is the 21st Easter Sunday of 2019. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for being here. And have a great morning, evening, Easter dinner, Easter Sunday, church service, the whole shebang. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.